Haircut showing you the simplest way, the easiest way to use a Walmart clipper doing a ball fade with waves on the top. All right, so the first thing you want to do, the first thing you need to know is how to move the Walmart clipper. So remember, at all times, you're only going to use half of the blade, and the other half that you're not using will always be up off the blade on an angle. So on the right side of the head, you're going to use the left side of the blade. And the right side of the blade is going to be always off the head on an angle. So you're going to come up half of the blade, always on an angle, finish on an angle. So your first elevation, you will finish like this on an angle on the right side of the head. On the left side of the blade head, you're going to use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade will always be off the head. So you're going to come up like that on an angle now as far as the levels of the blade being on the head this is considered flat so when you come flat it's going to cut close as you can get it always using half the blade flat mid level is when you raise the blade up midway and you're still only using half the blade but you're coming off the head and that's going to cut leave a little bit more hair on the head and when you raise the blade up high you're going to use half of the blade. When I say high, that means it's going to leave even more hair on the head. So flat is the closest. Mid is leaving a little hair. And high leaving the most amount of hair at whatever level you're cutting. So that's flat, mid, high. And you always use only half of the blade cutting on an angle. On the left side of the head, you use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade is off. And on the right side of the head, use the left side of the blade, and the right side of the blade is off the head. Thing you want to do is start off with any clipper you have at home to get your first elevation in, your skin elevation. But remember, whatever lining you have from Walmart, the closest cut you get, you use this. Use this on the left side of, on the right side of the head. Use the left side of the blade, and you swing on an angle. Come up, swing on the an angle, and that gets your fade in. When you swing on the an angle, that starts your fade. Swing on the an angle. Come up, swing on the angle. You see the fade started right there? It's all because we swing, swung on that angle. You do less work when you swing on the angle. Now you come on the other side. First you look at where you put your first elevation in there. Then you come on this side and you put this elevation on this side. And remember on the right side, on the left side of the head, you're gonna use 
the right side of the blade. Come up, swing. Swing on an angle. Come up, swing on an angle. Swing on the angle when you get hit. You see that blend has already started. When you make sure you get everything under the elevation. They turn to the mirror, make sure your elevation is pretty even. Once it's pretty even, you clean everything else up. When you get up there, make sure you swing on the angle. Swing on that angle. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you grab your Walmart clipper. Make sure the level lever is closed, all the way closed, on the closest cut. You come here on the left side of the head, you take the right side of the blade, and you swing on the angle. Do your first elevation. Swing on the angle. Come up about half an inch. You see that? The fade is already set for you because you swung on the angle. So you can swing right there on the angle, about a half an inch, go all the way around. Make sure you're using the right side of the blade on the left side of the head, just swinging on the angle. Come all the way to the half of the head, back of the head. On the angle, look at that. See how I'm swinging on the angle just using half of the blade? Look, the blade already gone. Now, on the right side of the head, you use the left side of the blade and you just swing on the angle. Half an inch up. Keep the front of the blade up and you swing on the angle. And then you clean all that up on the angle. Then you clean all that up at the bottom on the angle, swing it on the angle. On the left side of the head, you use the right side of the blade and clean all that up on the angle. Then you open the clipper all the way, as long as it can go, the next elevation on an angle. See that? On an angle. On the left side of the head, use the right side of the blade, keep the other side up, and swing on an angle. Look, did the job for you. Now on this side, start from the front. On the right side, use the left side of the blade, lead the other side up, and swing on the angle. Now, you're going to take your number one guard, put your number one guard on your clipper, make sure it's all the way open, and swing on an angle. On 
on the neighbor. On this side, this side of the blade, swing on the angle. On the angle. You want the wavelength, so you take the number one, close it halfway, go with the grain, or close it all the way, and go with the grain. It keeps us waves. Knock all that down. with the grain, knock all that down. And then when you get to the back, make sure you go follow the pattern where the hair grow. It grows in like a little swirl right here. So you follow that swirl with the grain. Does it come up? You come up. Just go that way, you go that way. And this right here come down, then you come down. All right, once you got all that nice and smooth and clean, you got everything set. Now we're gonna start cleaning up the dark spots. With this guard on, with it closed, start from the back right here. Now you're gonna swing on an angle to get that highest level dark spot out. So you start low on an angle, then you go mid on an angle, and then you come up high on the an angle. That's how you get the dark spots out on the angle. Start low. Mid. And then high. That's how you get the blends out. Go to the other side. Low. Hold the angle. The clip up mid and then hold the clip up high. Low. Mid. And then high. I'm only using half of the blade. And that's how you get the blend out. Low. Mid, high. Now, make sure everything is nice and clean. Low, mid, high. All right, now you're gonna take the clipper 
Make sure it's at its longest point. You pull the lever all the way back. It's at its longest cutting point. Now you're going to get this elevation out. So you start off right here on an angle. Low. On an angle. Keep the clip on the angle. And that's how you get the blends out the best. Really fast. When the blade is already at an angle, you get the blended angle fade. That's low. Then you come up mid. Then you come high. And just drag right into that blend. All right. And over here. On an angle. Low. Mid on an angle. High. Just drag right into the blend. That's how you use these levers to make a really nice haircut. Okay, and if you see anything missing, go back flat, clean it up. Once you do that, everything is nice and clean. Make sure you get that dark spot out by pushing in, blending on an angle. Now that last elevation, you close the blade and blend in on an angle. Best you can. Then you make the blade go half, take the lever go halfway, make the blade open up halfway, and you get that little line out right there be, before the last one on an angle. So you start off low on an angle, then mid. Then high. Low. On the angle. Then mid. Then high. That last line you take and go back to your balding clipper that you use. You go right back to your balding clipper that you used. 
and all you do is raise the blade up on the angle high and it pull that blip that line right out see that raise the blade up high and just pull that dark area out and that dark little darkness will raise the blade up high on the angle on the left side of the head use the right side of the blade and on the right side of the head use the left side of the blade so you just flick that dark area out high. On an angle. And then on, right here on the right, you switch to the left side of the blade only at an angle. And you flick that out high, holding the clipper up high. Once you're done with that, you go back to your Walmart clipper where it close the closest point and do the same thing again at that same spot. Now you blend them tight, swing it on the angle, high, and you get anything left over. Finish up your blend. all right then right at the front you might just want to blend the corners off a little bit open the blade all the way wide and then just blend the front down slightly just these corners and then the front and then after that if you see any frizzes there, you just freehand it, knock down any of those frizzies that's sticking up. That just make the head cut look even cleaner. And then you line them up. You want to keep the line farthest out, farthest back as you can, and use the straight edge of the blade to make the line. You don't have to draw the line if you use the straight edge. You just use the straight edge, drop down. So take this part and come to here, drop. And that makes your edge for you. And then in the corner, you just take the straight edge and make your corner. And then meet it. And same on this side. Take your straight edge. Make the corner and then meet it. And then all of this, you just clean all that up. And then you just, of course, you check the line, make sure it's straight, and you tap in any areas that might not be as straight as you want it. We'll clean the forehead up.
Make sure everything is cleaned up nice and neat around the edges. You wanna sometimes you melt those corners down a little bit. Make the fade come out even better. Alright. That's the finished product. So as y'all can see, we took Walmart clippers and did a simple professional skin fade. And that's how you do it when you're trying to save money, go heal build staff. Alright. We gonna conclude with some music by putting his blues back in the barn.